guys, welcome to Muggle Mischief Managed. I'm Alicia. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you've seen my videos before, welcome back and thanks for coming back to my channel. Uh, today we will be unboxing the Geek Gear Wizardry Special Edition box from December. Um, I know it's January, but mine just got here. I live in the U.S. and this is a U.K.-based company, so it usually takes an extra couple of weeks to get to me, but I don't really mind. Uh, I like their boxes. I do think this will probably be my last special edition box, though. Um, I did unsubscribe from this box and the wearable just for financial reasons, not because I didn't love their boxes, but I went a little subscription box crazy lately, and then I realized... It was not gonna work um, so I had to sort of cut back I will still be getting their regular wizardry box this year and I have some other boxes that I've gotten from other subscription companies um, that are still coming but I have had to cut back a lot um, and I'm subscribed from a lot of them just for personal reasons uh, so but I will still be trying to put out great Harry Potter content where I can um, it just probably won't be as many subscription or merch based videos from now on but who knows maybe I'll get creative and you guys will like some of my uh, DIY or other videos that I have uh, cooking up here so I will <laughs> We'll let you know when I come up with some uh, ideas that I can share with you guys. But for today, let's just open up this Geek Gear Special Edition box and see what's inside. Let me give you guys a sneak peek. All right. So here's your sneak peek. Um, and let's see what's inside. It looks like there was maybe a wearable on top. Oh, yes. Okay, so the first wearable is one of my favorite phrases. When in doubt, go to the library. This is perfect. I really like this. This is an awesome shirt. Um, it's nice and simple, just a plain black tee. I feel like we've gotten a lot of black tees lately. I think the December boxes also had black other black t-shirts. Um, but yeah, just a simple phrase. I like the different fonts that they used and then the book silhouette here at the bottom. If you know a librarian in your life, this would probably be the perfect t-shirt for them, too. Um, but yeah, this is very cute. Um, I will definitely be wearing this. Nice, subtle nod to Potter. All right. The next item in the box, there's another wearable. Oh, this one's cute. I see owls. So let me show you guys. Another black shirt. This one's a long sleeve. So this, this one looks like it's our golden trio as owls. Um, I would guess the red one over here is Ron, the black one in the middle is Harry, and then Hermione all in their little uh, outfits. That's cute, cute little owl t-shirt, long sleeve tee, very cute. Yeah, that's different. I've never seen like a cartoony t-shirt in here. Usually it's either silhouettes or quotes or, um, creatures of some kind but yeah this one's really cute definitely different I haven't seen one like that before so that's cool to see them doing a little bit something different all right another item in this box looks like there's a color changing or heat changing mug so it looks like the mug is a silhouette of Harry Potter and when it's cold and then when it's hot it looks like there's some white words that come up all over. So that's cool. Let me get it out of the box quick. So yeah, it's just a blue mug with Harry on it. And the only things that are standing out are his glasses and his scar. But then I guess when it gets warmed up, I don't know if I can make it happen just with like sometimes you can put your palm over it and your body heat will do it. But I don't think it's going to work. No, it must take quite a bit of a uh, heat to change it. So I'll have to try this with my morning coffee tomorrow. But a very cute mug. Interested, interested to see how it looks then once uh, the heat change is activated. So very cool. They do usually do some sort of drinkware item in um, one of the boxes in the subscriptions. 
Um, it looks like there's another little box. Good things come in little boxes. Oh, it says Skelegro on it. I'm excited. So hopefully this is a potion. Ooh, yes. See, this is why I love the Geek Gear boxes. I do like uh, the other subscription boxes because the quality is usually consistent with some of the other ones that I've gotten. The Geek Gear, I think, has like awesome replicas. Like when they do a replica, most of the time it hits the mark. So this is really cool. It does not look like it comes apart. No, it's just for display. But that is so cool. I cannot wait to put that back here on uh, my potion shelf back there. So cute. I really do like their boxes. I think you at least always get good items, but they always have one or two that just for me personally are just favorites. I like them. All right, so this box does come with a wand, but I will do that last. Let's see what else is in here. Um, okay, so they also do teas. So this is the Snowy Owl Tea. This is a vanilla blend with white tea. Ooh, I am very interested to see what that tastes like. This one says it does contain nuts, so, oh, there's almond, almond pieces in it, that's why. Um, and the little cup down at the bottom just has a little snowflake on it. They design their own labels, so they always have something cute down by the teacup. Very cute. I do like their teas, I have to say. I'm not a huge tea person, but I do really like their teas. I've had them before. Um, so it looks like, oh, we got the scratch off card. Let's see if I want anything. Probably not, I never, nope, no win, better luck next time. I never win on those things. Um, there's a tube and then the wand and it looks like there might be the print and something else in the bottom. So this is usually a piece of artwork when it comes in the tube like this. They've had a lot of Kevin Cantwell artwork lately, which I don't mind because I like his artwork. So let's see what this one is. Ooh, that is really pretty. So this is obviously the scene or maybe an adaptation of the scene where Fred and George are setting off all the fireworks. But it looks like, I'm pretty sure this is a Kevin Kitwell. Yes, this is a Kevin Kitwell. So it, it looks like all of these fireworks are the different houses. So you have the badger and the serpent for Slytherin and the eagle for Ravenclaw and then the lion over here as a firework for Gryffindor. That is so cool. Yeah. He is super talented. That is a really cool adaptation of fireworks over Hogwarts. This is a great one. I think I'm gonna have to get this one framed and put up on my wall. Definitely a great art piece of artwork. All right. The next item, so there's, looks like a book type item. Oh wait, no, it's a print, but it's in a frame. So let's see what this one is. Ooh, glare. Flu powder. All right, so this says, when traveling by flu powder, speak clearly. And then it has a silhouette of Harry. So yeah, that's so cute. Great, would be great for my year two shelf because that's when um, Harry goes to Diagon Alley via the flu network for the first time. Very cute. It has just the green colors with a little bit of black. Definitely a simple print, but very well done. The coloring looks great. The graphics look good. Sometimes the prints um, can be a little pixely on some of the artwork they've done, but this one is really nice. Nice, clear, 
clear print. I like that a lot. Very nice. Um, let's take a look. Let me just dig through this for a second before we uh, open up the wand. Ooh, the wand must be really big because it like barely fits in the box. The box is like busting open. Let me just make sure that I didn't miss anything. No, so then we just have the cheat sheet. All right. So let's open up our wand. Ooh. Okay, so this is why the wand box was, it was busting open because the wand was coming out of the box. So this is very cool. So this looks like it says, oh, it's the margarita wand. Ooh, not to be confused with, you know, actual margaritas. But this says it's 13 and a half in length. The core is leprechaun hair. And the wood type is king wood. That's so cool. It almost does kind of look like a walking stick that a leprechaun would use. Has this really cool pearl at the top, and it is a, kind of like a twisty design. Very cool. They Their wands have been spot on lately. I think all the wands I've gotten from them so far, I did a past box, which I will link these uh, unboxing videos down below so you can see the wands that I've gotten recently. I did a past box, and then they had a wand in the other December, just the wizardry box, I believe. Um, and those were both really nice. I really like what they're doing with their unique, unique wands. Whoever is designing these has a lot of talent. I think they're doing a fabulous job. Keep it up. Because as much as I love the character wands, they're very expensive. And they're it's, it's hard to like put money into just getting like one character at a time. Um, and these when you're buying the subscription box, you're basically getting what you would have paid for one wand at like Universal or from on online or wherever. And I think these are just great quality and they are very unique. I like them a lot. So yeah, that is really cool. All right, so before we look at the cheat sheet, I have to say my favorite item, I think it's a tie between the Skelegro and the wand. I think the wand is very cool, very unique. Their wands always have like a good feel in the hand too. They're always very like solid. They're not like they're gonna like fly out of your hand. But the Skelegro, this is very cool. The detailing and the paintwork on this is spot on. Like I could see a family having just like a bottle of this in the back of a cupboard that they barely use. So it's been back there for a little while. Um, but yeah, very cool. Super excited about that one. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet quick. Oh, I got paper bits flying everywhere. All right. So th for December, it says the exclusive when in doubt t-shirt. So it's the library shirt, the magical long sleeve t-shirt. So that's, it's just called magical long sleeve with the owls on it. The licensed exclusive flu powder framed print the Unique Wands Exclusive Margarita Wand, the Licensed Potter Heat Changing Mug, the Exclusive Skelegro Potion Replica, um, the Exclusive Magical New Year Poster. Okay, so it's supposed to be like New Year's theme. That makes sense. Um, it is artwork designed by Kevin Cantwell, and the Monthly Tea Collection Snowy Owl Vanilla Blend. And if you've watched any of my other December unboxings, you'll know that um, for December they made me the YouTube Spotlight. So thank you again, Geek Gear, for doing that. Um, that is really cool. Uh, I appreciate it greatly. Um, but yeah, I have been really impressed with all of the December boxes because I did get all three. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I went a little crazy with my subscriptions. I really liked the first ones that I got, like the special edition, I think, and the wearable is what I subscribed to first. And then I just ended up getting the wizardry too. Um, but I think I'm just going to stick with the wizardry for now. Um, cause it is a nice mixture of wearables as well as replicas and things like that. Um, I did buy their Luna limited edition box that's coming out. That was kind of like my last purchase before I like cut myself off and was like, no more. Um, so I'm super duper excited about that. I'm not sure when those are supposed to ship. I don't think it's till 
like February or March. I'm not 100% sure, but I will put a link down below um, to where you can buy that Luna box in case you're interested. That should have more of the information um, there too. But yeah, solid box geek gear. I really liked this one. Um, and thank you so much for watching me unbox it. Uh, our password for the house points contest for this box is going to be Skelegro because this was my favorite item from the box or one of them. Um, so yeah, Skelegro, S-K-E-L-E, -E, and then the little dash, grow, G-R-O. You don't need the W apparently in Skelegro. But yeah, so our password is going to be Skelegro. Thanks again for watching me unbox. Um, I really enjoy doing these for you guys and putting out Harry Potter content. So if you would like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.